And so do so uh, time seven twenty four. Do you, do you need us to to verbalize the motion, so? Um. Well, you want me? Where's your, where's your, the motion is that the director has the ability to close the physical library for seventy two hours. Upon you, that's the word, and we have to use physical library, right? Yeah, and it, um, yeah, make sure you says uh, an employee tests positive, or a patron person. What about a, a person? person? Well, a, a patron. So patrons are right now are restricted to the Parlava Lab. Oh. So we wouldn't need to close the library. And once the library lobby opens again, the limit is 15 minutes. You're allowed in the building. And I already consulted with Laura and she said, because they're not in the building for more than 15 minutes, they don't count as a contact trace. Oh, good. Wow. So repeat that again, Megan, the ending of it. The director has the ability to close the physical library for 72 hours. So we should say um, the library director has the ability to close the library for um, up to 72 hours if a employee of the library tests positive for COVID-19. Megan, do you want to say employee or full-time employee? I'm going to say employee because we're saying has the ability, not requiring. Okay. Okay. Good. And then that way, let's say we have a part-timer who ends up working two seven-hour shifts um, in two days, then technically they're acting as a full-timer. So I want to have the ability to make that determination whether full or part-time. Okay, hey, let me repeat it. The library director has the ability to close the library up to 72 hours if an employee tests positive for COVID-19. The only change I would make is authority, change ability to authority. Authority? Yeah, that's better, yeah. Thank you. Okay, so who would like to make that motion? I will, Terry Rotella. Terry, okay, in a second. I'll second. Judy, okay. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? So carried. Thank you, Megan. I think that hopefully we never have to use it, but if it does happen, at least then we can move ahead. I'm hoping because we agree, approved it, we'll never need it. We'll never need it, right. <laughs> well, hopefully everybody gets out there and gets that vaccine as ASAP, right? I'm not old enough yet. <laughs> I know all you young chicks. <laughs> oh, but the, but the governor just is is you know just released the information He's, uh, over the next couple of weeks. It's getting further younger yeah. and younger and younger. So right. and, and and by age and just by, by age. By age, age. And by age. <laughs> okay. Any other issues that anyone wants to bring up? I'm sorry, I'm not as good as Tia. This meeting was much too long. So I apologize. I know. It was a very good meeting. <laughs> we had a lot, of had a lot to discuss. That's all. Okay. A motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. T uh, Terry, second. 27. That's that's right. I'm sorry. I, I got to make it second. 28, though. The other one was 727. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, no, that was 724. Okay, we're okay. 727. Great. Yep. The second, I'm sorry, did you get that, Sue? Who was it? Connie. Connie? Thank you, Connie. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you all. Thank you for your attention and your right. to the library and um, your patience with me. Our next meeting is March 22nd. So go have your dinner and relax. Have a good evening. Take care. Good night. Thank you very much for such a good job for the first time. Wow. Right. Yeah. Okay. Very very nice. First time and a half, whatever it was last time. <laughs> good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, there it goes.